Teenage aerialist Aidan Bryant won America's Got Talent All-Stars on Monday during a two-hour, star-studded season finale that featured final performances from the 11 finalists. Saxophonist Avery Dixon finished in second place, while Light Balance Kids from Ukraine came in third place. Teenage ventriloquist Anna Maria Margian finished in fourth place and young magician Aidan McCann, 13, of Kildare, Ireland, came in fifth place. Self-taught aerialist Aidan, 18, and magician Aidan were the first in the top five as the acrobatic trio Bello Sisters and contemporary dance group Power Duo were knocked from the top spots. Saxophone player Avery made it into the top five over comedian Mike E. Winfield, while Ukraine-based Light Balance Kids advanced into the top five over Detroit Youth Choir. The last spot in the top five went to teenage ventriloquist Anna Maria Margian who advanced over past AGT champion Cody Lee and Britain's Got Talent singer Tom Ball. The winner was determined by superfans voting and took home the grand prize of $500,000. The champion also gained bragging rights as winner of the spin-off series that featured 60 top acts pulled from the international Got Talent franchise. Aiden hugged show host Terry Crews, 54, when he was announced as the winner as judges Simon Cowell, Heidi Klum and Howie Mandel gave him a standing ovation. Terry asked Aiden how it felt to win after beating top acts from all over the world. This experience is crazy. I am so thankful. This is crazy, y'all. Thank you so much. This means so much to me, Aiden said, judge and franchise creator Simon declared that there was no loser tonight. Talent has won tonight, Simon said. The season finale concluded with Aiden hoisting his large AGT, All-Stars winner's trophy high above his head. The episode opened with the Bello Sisters acrobatic trio performing along with fellow finalist aerialist Aidan Bryant with American Idol star Adam Lambert, 41, providing the soundtrack as he belted out Chandelier from his new album High Drama. Show finalist and former Britain's Got Talent finalist Tom Ball teamed up with Voices of Hope Children's Choir for a rendition of Who Wants to Live Forever. Cody Lee and Light Balance Kids then thrilled the audience when they partnered for a fun rendition of the Avicii song Wake Me Up. It was so awesome, Cody said afterward of performing with the Ukraine-based Light Up Dance Group. Stand-up comedian Mike E. Winfield in a pre-recorded video told of his goal to be a TV host and then acted on advice from show host Terry, who told him to put the work in. Terry at the end of the skit kicked Mike out of his dressing room and rejected his request to co-host with him. Mike then showed his co-hosting ability by introducing finalist Anna Maria Margian, 13, who performed her ventriloquism routine along with ventriloquist Harry Fatter, who won season 2 of America's Got Talent in 2007. They performed a dynamic duet of Elvis with their puppets Maynard and Waldo singing a little less conversation. Saxophone player Avery Dixon, 22, and Kenneth Babyface Edmonds, 63, had Judge Heidi Klum, 49, dancing in her seat as the finalist and legendary R.B. producer performed every little step written by Babyface for Bobby Brown's second album Don't Be Cruel. Show finalists power duo combined their contemporary dance routine with music provided by violinist Lindsay Sterling, who starred on season 5 of AGT.
Los Angeles rock band Weezer then performed with Terry's Golden Buzzer finalists Detroit Youth Choir who brought a fun new sound to their hit song Beverly Hills. It was absolutely brilliant. Thank you so much for doing this, said Judge Simon Cowell, 63. Young magician and show finalist Aidan McCann teamed up for a magic act with Matt Franco, 34, who gained fame as the first magician to win America's Got Talent in the ninth season of the NBC show. America's Got Talent, All Stars premiered on January 2 on NBC, the series was similar to the first spin-off America's Got Talent, The Champions.